Welcome y'all here with Gator Tales with Chuck and Brand. Today we have freshman head coach, Coach Brandon Bravada. Freshman football. Freshman football. Coach. Freshman football. Football. What I said? Just freshman coach. Well, I mean, he coaches well, them all, you yeah, know. Yeah. I mean, that's that's what he does. He take care of all of them. Most most people know him from the other sport that we're not going to talk about right now. Yeah, baseball. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that in spring. That's, that's spring sports. Yeah, yeah. So uh, so today we're here to talk about freshman football. So uh, again, welcome, Coach. Thank you for taking your time out to come talk to us. No problem. Appreciate uh, you guys having me. Let's uh, for those of all who don't maybe know you, let's yep. talk a little bit about you and who you are and where you're from and. Yep. How long uh, you been here? And who your mom and them? Yeah, yeah my mom and them. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, I, uh, this is actually my tenth year in, in high school coaching. Okay. So uh, this will be my tenth season coaching high school football. Okay. A lot of people don't know that about me. But, there you uh, go. Yeah. This okay. is number ten. Um, I did six years in varsity football, and this is four years in freshman. Okay. Uh, over here at Santa Moss, so this will be my fourth year here. Okay. And uh, enjoy it. Really enjoy coaching freshman football because you get to see the uh, the development from day one to to the end and it's it's about really about the football knowledge that they gain you yes, know you right. go from yeah. um not real complicated schemes typically yeah um, yeah from middle school to, yeah, to, 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 I mean, to santa mall gator football to santa mall gator football <laughs> yeah and, and right, i'm gonna yeah. tell you you know here at santa mall um we pride ourselves on being able to run some complex schemes because we have very smart players right and Good. so um we're able to introduce you know, a lot of what we do and, you know, we piggyback off of what the varsity does. Correct. Want, right. Yeah. And we want yeah. to introduce that. And, um, and so by the time they start, they don't know much about football at all. And then by the end of it, you know, it's amazing to see what they can do as far as adjusting uh, to certain formations or have them reading certain things that that they may have not known from before. So, yeah, um, it certainly is a process going through freshman right. football season. And it's a big step up from middle school. Right. To freshman. To junior varsity, to varsity, it's, it's a big step. That's a big difference between those levels. Well, yeah, and and me coming from, you know, I've coached one A football, I've coached two A football, I've coached three A football, but I'm just gonna tell you, the first my first season here as the, as the freshman head coach in five A football, I'm going, oh my goodness, <laughs> this right. is freshman. Yeah, uh, right. yeah. I mean, you see some serious size and athletes, and um, you know, schemes that you know it 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 takes some quality coaches and and. Um, you know the development of the developmental process to really you got to speed it up because yes. um you got to get in competition and right. play yeah you ready know? yep and you have a really good coaching staff here to lean on oh the best for the support that you need to help get these guys the ready for, know, for the it, next couple it, of look, years it took, it took a year or so to get the schemes and uh, to be able to translate because everybody every school has different schemes and coaches yeah. have different schemes and it's very important um you know to get with coach bab and to get with coach oliver to right. get with coach thomas see on the you know the coordinators yeah. making sure we are doing exactly what we need to do so that next year that transition is very easy for them going into the junior varsity and varsity level correct yeah the learning curve's a little yeah a little better there no doubt. and yeah. i do know that the it's you know coach oliver worked to get help get you some help yeah from your first year yeah. i mean that was that was yeah because that one was painful yeah, I ain't gonna lie. yeah. yeah. that was a painful yeah. year but it was only you and another guy basically right doing it, you right, know right. and so he went in and 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 got some more coaches for y'all to where y'all can linemen go here offensive line defensive line go here break it down yeah, rather well, than rather than just you having a defense right and then the other one having just an, a whole the whole offense well together. we've we, last year we had i want to say um a little over 100 freshmen that started oh, wow. out with us will probably finish with around 90, 95. Yeah, okay. Um, that's a lot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that is so, a lot. So this year we've, we're for, very fortunate to have three on defense, including myself. I'm the defense coordinator. Okay. And then we have three on offense. That's good. And uh, that's... Which, which really going to help us this year is is Malcolm Reed, right. um, who was with us before yep. as, as a Gator coach in the varsity squad, went to McKinley as their head coach, and now he's back. Yeah. yeah. And um, so he's going to – take over our offense as far as the um, installation and play calling and that sort of thing. And that's going to really help us this year. Yeah. Cause I mean, over there at McKinley, he was running, he was running our offense. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so yeah. He, yeah. he, he really knows our offense. He so. does. And, and, and this is a good opportunity for him too. That's right. And that's right. Uh, to really, you know, hone into some of those, those skills, um, just being under a great staff. I mean, you can't, you can't ask for, if you go out and watch practice and varsity practice, the way it's run, it's run like a college oh, yeah. practice. I mean, good. you know, that's good. And so we try to do the same thing. Now, obviously, we can't be as crisp because yeah. we we are trying to really teach fundamental. It just takes a little bit longer yeah. <laughs> to right. get those guys really yeah. doing what we want. But um, but I feel like we're on the right path. So well, that's good. good. Okay. Um, let's talk a little bit about how your district play 
falls okay. out this year. Uh, again, it's a little bit different than than normal because, you know, like Friday night against the Jamboree, yeah. Assumption doesn't have a freshman team. Correct. So let's talk a little bit about your schedule and yep. how it plays into the varsity and uh, yeah. schedule so, as well. Um, so we have Ascension Catholics JV on next Tuesday. It'll be our okay. first game. Okay. So after the Jamboree, the following Tuesday, uh, we'll play Ascension Catholics JV. And then uh, moving from there, we play just about every district team twice. Okay. Um, okay. So, um, you know, we'll play EA twice and Dutchtown twice okay. and Walker. And, and, and Probably Lyle home and away and series. Yeah, something thing. like that. Okay. Yeah. And, okay. Uh, and we most of our games this year, which I kind of like, is um, a doubleheader between the JV and then the freshman. Oh, okay. And what that does for us, you know, I, I would say there are some schools that really – game plan and watch film but we try to teach our kids how to game plan and how we go through a week's process and a game on tuesday is difficult because by the time you get done on wednesday is a recovery day correct and then right. thursday um you get back at practice and then friday <clears throat> you know you want to be able to game plan right by friday you really can't practice because you got to have the a training staff right at, at correct. Football practice. correct so they're getting yes. ready for the varsity game for the, bar, yes. the next thing you know it's monday and then and the day before the game, then, yeah. <laughs> and then y'all, yep. also, I mean, on Friday nights, y'all there helping yes. too. Yes. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So we're up, up in the, the booth, box. yeah, and helping yeah. as much as we okay. can. And, yeah. then, and so, um, what this does on Wednesdays, it gives us Monday and Tuesday to really prepare. But we can start kind of walking through on Friday without contact. Right. Have a day of correction on Thursday. There and that go. gives us one extra day to really prepare these guys. So that helps. That's good. Well, good. That's good. Okay. Yeah, because then, like I said, you know, Varsity has a lot of non-district games to start off with, mm -hmm. which, again, you're not going to expect them teams to travel for a freshman game as well. So right. it's good to see that y'all are going to have that as many games. Oh, yeah, we play 10. Know, so yep. it's still a full yeah. full season. Yep. Um, and, you know, it keeps it local. Yes. You know, you're and, not and traveling. You know, it's, when you play a team twice, especially in football, you know, like last year, for instance, um, we got beat by EA in the first game. And then in the last game, you know, what I was super proud of, we really dominated that game. And so I was really proud of, oh, man, we came a long way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so when you play a team twice, you're able to do that, you know, and see how you stack up the second time around. Well, Win correct. or loss. Yeah. You know? and it's, yeah. It, I mean, playing twice, too, it's, 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 it's easy to schedule. You yeah. ain't got to go out there hunting teams yeah. that has a freshman it, team it, to correct. play. It's hard to yeah. find, you know, freshman team yeah. games. Right. But every, you know, you, know, you got to have a big school with a big, big school. program That's right. That's right. to do that. Correct. Right. And so yeah. if everybody in the district just say, hey, we play two times, I mean, then there you go. It's yeah, easy. You know? It works out. And the and good thing about it is, is it's not a very far, you know, what, Live Oaks, probably the Fullers, yeah. Fullers this I, year. Here's what I'm going to tell you. What I've seen on, on Tuesday or Wednesday nights when we play, with the, especially with the JV freshman doubleheader, mm -hmm. there's a lot of people. Oh, there's a lot. Games. There's a lot. And that's, and that's, we oh, probably yeah. draw more for these freshman, you know, JV doubleheaders than a lot of varsities. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, and so that's great for those kids. Yeah, it, it is. It, great community. That, that's yeah. Great. Well, yeah, but, it, you know, it gets them ready for, for Friday, Friday night lights. That's yeah. right. Because it, it's, it's a lot better playing in front of a couple hundred people yeah. than – the 20 parents that showed up yeah, to right. watch a freshman game. Yeah, right, yeah, you know, so it, yeah. it does make it different. And playing the doubleheaders helps. Yes. Because yep. you got, you know, all the parents are there. And, yeah, the other thing you know, that I like, too, is you get, you know, these JV coaches, varsity coaches. They, they're they're helping. Get, they get there a little bit early to right. get their kids warmed up, and they're able to help. Yeah, and, that's good. Uh, more okay. eyes we on like, the field. We like that. Yeah, yeah it's more eyes on yeah. the field. Yeah. They, yeah. they might see somebody some, – yep. A uh, kid might have a tail. Hey, look, every time he does this right here, yeah. he, you know, he's coming this way, yeah. you know. So, yep. And it you know also helps with the younger you know younger guys the freshmen to be a part of with the JVs maybe not necessarily being on the field with them playing but being there in that experience mm -hmm. watching them play being in that atmosphere yep kind of helps as well yep no doubt now I want to take the moment too um, I don't know that how many people realize that we have three CCP coaches so okay um, those guys go to other jobs and they get off right. at <laughs> three you know these guys probably get up at four thirty yeah. whatever and they're here at three o'clock every day and. Um, they don't get paid a lot, you yeah. know, just it's the way it is. But um, it's a big commitment. And it so, is. you know, John Duplessis and Mike Anderson and Ryan Ricca and Caleb Jones, okay. um, we, you know, if you guys get a chance to see them and whatever, we're just we're very thankful for them because right. they well, help good. us out tremendously. Good. Very, very fortunate. Yep. Um, yeah, so well, the next step was about your coaching staff coaching and like staff, a, yeah. and kind of what Chuck had mentioned earlier about this year, you know, or the last couple of years you've had – coaching staff expand yeah mm -hmm. which definitely helps it definitely with helps. everything it helps. um but it's good to see that the program is putting that effort into oh yeah the freshman program as yeah. well 
yeah. um, to get these kids ready for. I yeah. kind of like seeing John DePlus as a part of it because that puts that, that's a little taste of the the Santa Mar old school. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he, he still got uh, when I go out to practice and watch y'all. You know, I'm watching. I'm kind of and. I, and he got a little bit of Segur and in, in, in Morrow. Morrow, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and, and yeah. people don't know, John DePlessis, uh won a national title yep. at ULM at, when they were Division One yeah. uh, AA. Yeah, NLU and back uh, then. he's in the actually the ULM Hall of Fame, which was the NLU right for that okay. year that they went in. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that's good. That you know, and bring back a local guy. Oh, right. Yep. You know, and it's always to see good that has the college guys coming back. And, yeah. You know. So that's awesome. Well, Coach, uh, when's y'all – so your, next, your first game is next Tuesday, Tuesday right? Tuesday okay. against the Central Catholics, JV. You know, I, um, who knows what – you know, we have – we're scouting them and those types okay. of things, but I don't know as far as, hey, are we facing their varsity twos or right. what. Right, you know, right, I mean, right, right. Uh, so It's we'll, not their freshmen. No, no, yeah. but they don't have a lot. Correct. So right. it'll yeah. be a mixture It's going to of... be an awakening. Yes. Okay. <laughs> it might be. Yeah. <laughs> we'll okay. see. Hey, it's football. That's, that's right. right. I'm that's ready right. for football. That's right. They finally get to hit somebody that has a different color jersey. Correct. Yeah. You know, that's the yeah. main thing. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and then again after that, so it'll be pretty much every Wednesday. Yeah, pretty much double headers every Wednesday. Every Wednesday, okay. Uh, awesome. Along with the JV. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, those. folks, y'all come out. You know, get ready. Uh, come support some of the younger Gators. Yep. Yeah. A um, lot of games will be at the pit. Yep. Yep. Um, so, as like I said, you're playing the ten game season. Yep. So hopefully at least five of them will be at the pit. If not, catch us on Duck Roost. That's right. There you go. That's right. No, they well, put us on the spot. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> as many, some of them. Right? As many as we, we can, can make. Yes. Right. There, yes. There, there is one coach I do know that as soon as the game's over that I recorded, he's like, hey, man, is it on yet? Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Send me the link. Send yeah. me the link. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't yeah. It. It, yeah. <laughs> we, we, me and Chuck are, are going to try to make as many as we can, yep. definitely, and go live for as much as we can. Uh, if not, we're definitely looking for uh, a parent, somebody that can go. That can go. They don't. Us, they know? don't look, folks. Y'all don't have to talk. All you gotta Just do is film. Point your camera out it out there every now and then. Give the score. Get the time. Yep. There you go. So, uh, so we're looking for volunteers. That's right, and, we're, and we'll <laughs> pay you twice as much as what Chuck's making. There you go. You're so, getting rich quick. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, Coach, I uh, thank you for uh, yep, you coming, you taking some time we out of your, your busy schedule and uh, coming up here and do a little quick interview with us. And uh, good luck this season. Thank you. Yep. Looking forward to it. I know. I know. I'm ready for some me football. Too. Me yeah, too. Me too. So, uh, well, we'll see you Friday at the pit. There you yes. go, Coach right. Brandon Bravada, head freshman football coach, Santa Mo High School. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Go Gators. Uh-huh.